Thank you so much, Vendora. Yeah, we had that lovely tree uh, last year. It was so wonderful just to be kind of under its arms um, and shaded from the sun. It was hot, hot, hot. Uh, and I apologize, you moved from Maple Ridge to Coquitlam, so congratulations, you're closer. So, shorter commute. Um, next we have uh, Jennifer. Jennifer Gates. No, Jennifer. What's your last name, Jennifer? Jess. Getzinger. Getzinger. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Jenny Getzinger, so um, for the pandemic, there was this time when they said in some countries that only people with real dogs could go outside because they had to walk them, and I thought, well, I want a dog then, <laughs> so I got Spot, and Spot appears on Facebook all the time. <laughs> um, today, while uh, driving over here, I heard a song on CBC, and it was called All My Friends Are Dead. Oh. And uh, I'd never heard the song before, but it seems like in the 90s, the kind of people who would say stuff like that were old people. <laughs> people like Margaret Murdoch, who used to be a poet in a group with me and Francie Luann back in Kitsilano in the 90s. And I always felt like, oh, it's nice that I could be a friend with some of these elders because then they, you know, it's not as sad. But what's really sad is that there are lots of people in my children's generation who come over and say, all my friends are dead. Uh, I didn't mean to be depressing, but, you know, my kids talk about their high school friends from Kitsilano, and they've lost a lot of kids. And I, I haven't really written a poem about it yet, but it's, I think we need to do something for the younger people. Well, the poem I was going to read is uh, the one, uh, when Ashok Bargava gave this uh, Climate at Crossroads uh, event in, back in March, he asked us for poems about climate change. And this one kind of touches on the fact that young people have to live in their vans in Vancouver and they have no, like seemingly no future. But it's, a, it's called Night Scratchings as Climate Change Spirals Out of Control on Planet Earth. <clears throat> On sleepless nights, faint ghostly scratchings of dust bowl okies reverberate through dark urban streets, echoed in the unmuffled vans of our own homeless as they struggle up hills to find a place to park in this terminal, unfriendly city without accommodation for the poor. Throughout four billion years of Earth history, climate adjusted as Earth's life forms evolved from anaerobic respiration to the complex systems of carbon dioxide and oxygen, breathing back and forth in delicate balance. Global climate change is nothing new. This rocky planet will persist. <laughs> Our deepest challenge is to reverse human failure to manage our God-given garden of resources. How can we pull together any kind of coherent representative for this doomed planet Earth without supernatural intervention? Like the ancients, we must circle around to a new twist on old rituals, dance together and sing for rain and sunshine to bless us in their proper season. Thank you. It, it really heartens me to see people actually dancing and reading poetry at the same time. I find that very uplifting. No, cool. Cool.